Hello and welcome to Joplin Eagles basketball on the campus of Missouri Southern State University at Robert Ellis Young Gymnasium. Tonight's feature will be between Joplin High School Eagles basketball and Rolla Bulldogs from Rolla, Missouri. Hello, my name is Kalen Smith. And, and I'm, I'm Gray joined by Grayson, and I'm Grayson Cox. Cox. Uh, all right. All right. We're going to uh, get started with a couple little key stats here for our game. Um, you know, what, what's a key matchup in tonight's game, Grayson? Um, I'm really looking at Charlie Brown and uh, Kobe uh, Wan. I mean, I think that's going to be the key stats tonight. Uh, they're both going to be battling out at the point card position. Um, they're really strong players. You know, I agree with that. Uh, Kobe Wan's, uh, you know, named after Kobe Bryant. I uh, saw that in an article. Um, his dad posted that. But, um, yeah, he's named after Kobe Bryant. You know, he's a good player. He's averaging about Very 10 well. points a game this season for Rolla. Um, you know, he's going to be going up against Charlie Brown, who's at 24.3 points a game, you know. Uh, he's he's a, obviously a D1 prospect right now. He's getting talked to by a number of Division One colleges. Uh, you know, and another great player for Rolla is uh, Caleb Copeland. You know, he's going to be a good player this year, and he's only a junior, so he's got another year to go, and he's also a top Division One prospect in oh, the making. Of course. He was uh, the MVP of the Newburgh Tournament in uh, St. Charles, Missouri. Um, it was a pretty good tournament, uh, but Rolla won that tournament, and he was named all-tournament MVP. He played an amazing game. I believe he averaged nine points a game throughout the tournament, which is pretty good, but he had a lot of boards. Um, the boards is what got him where he – the boards got him to the MVP status. Yeah, you know, he, he is averaging about six rebounds a game. Um, he's a tall prospect. You know, he's standing six foot four. You know, he's a big, big boy. You know, he's going to be a big man in the middle. You know, we're going to see who guards him tonight. You know, I was talking to uh, a player, Keandre Adams, said he's he's probably going to be matched up with him most of the night. Um, I saw him looking at film today, kind of getting ready for the game. But, uh, yeah, we're going to have to see a lot from, the, from uh, Rolla tonight. So, uh, yeah, they're 11 and 5 in the in the, or they're 11 and 5 with a record, and they're 1 and 0 on conference play. And tonight's going to be a conference game for him, and we're going to have to see how Joplin handles him. I think Joplin can handle him actually, but they got Charlie Brown, Keandre Adams, Jace Breaker at point guard. He really speeds the game up and gives them tempo. Um, yeah. Charlie Brown's though that high scoring person that no one wants to guard. No one wants to guard him, even if you're seven foot tall. Charlie Brown can find a way to score no matter who you are. Yeah, we're going to see his athleticism on display tonight. He's an amazing display of almost any type of basketball ability. He can shoot from the three, he can drive to the lane, he can even dunk. He dunked in Pittsburgh a couple weeks ago, you know. We're going to see what he can do tonight. He's only a six foot one guy, you know, he's a point guard. He'll bring up the ball a lot. Um, he's got some nasty crossover moves. You know, we're going to really see how these kids handle, how, how Rolla handles Joplin High School tonight. Rolla, I think, can handle him well. Joplin can handle Rolla well. It's going to be a really good matchup all night long. Yep, and, and you know, looking back at the schedule uh, schedule strength, Joplin's played some really good teams this, so far this season. Very and Rolla, good. on the other hand, I'll be honest with you, they haven't played that tough a competition yet. They played a couple 3A and 4A schools um, early in the season. They played some, uh, they've actually played some big name schools uh, like Waynesville and Hillcrest, who are, are who state are ranked. State ranked, but they did lose to them. Yes. So, um, do you think Joplin has a chance of winning this game, Grayson? I think Joplin has a great chance to win this game. Um, head coach Jeff Williams said today that they're ready. They're fired up. They lost by two points by a buzzer beater last uh, Tuesday against Camdington. Or, I'm sorry, Central. And Jeff Williams has his crew fired up right now tonight. Yeah, and I'll tell you right now who's going to be a big factor in this game is the Joplin High School student section. Um, they're also known as the sixth man. Uh, you know, you just talked about Jeff Williams earlier, uh, coach of the Eagles. Uh, he really likes to get his student section involved. You know, he makes announcements every day in school. Every day. He's a good coach. He's not only a coach for the basketball team, but he's also a coach for your uh, for the student body. He's a he great really coach. He really leads them well. He motivates the kids to come to these games, and the kids, the student section, helps the players get riled up and get prepared for these games. Yep, and um, I think later on tonight we're going to have a couple interviews with uh, either the athletic director or assistant coaches or somebody along down the road, you know, it's a surprise, we'll have to see who it is, but, uh, you know, we're going to have this going here, so we got about three or four minutes left to go, and then we're going to get this game started, so um, anyway, let's look, at, let's look at some other key stats tonight. All right, Joplin Eagles 
I'll be honest with you. Their numbers are really, really good for high school, but the only key point they're lacking in this year is their assists. They are averaging six assists a game. That's not good. That's not good, but you also got to look at who, who, who's getting the ball yeah, the most. Yeah, Charlie Brown, and Charlie Brown scores. That's what helps them yep. in that assist category. And I think what hurts the Eagles the most in the assist category is, is, you know, they get him the ball. He sits there. He takes his time. He finds the open shot. But then again, you don't get an assist then. You know, you take too much time to take that assist number, but, hey, if you get the shot, you get the shot. Take it. If the Eagles had a big assist number, they'd be one of the best teams in the state, I bet. I'm I'm just kind well, of throwing got, that you out gotta have you got to have finishers. That's right. To get that assist number. And, uh, no, I mean, Joplin, Joplin has some good finishers. All right, they have some good finishers on breakaway plays. Charlie but, uh, Brown and Keandre Adams. Yes, I agree. But, um, I mean, when we're looking at just under-the-basket type assists, you know, you've got Spencer Lane, you've got Charlie. All right, Charlie can get under the basket. Charlie All right, can. he will go under the basket. He'll do you know? whatever it takes. And, you know, like I said earlier, Spencer Lane, he's a six-foot-tall, pro- six-foot-five prospect. You know, he's looking at some colleges. You know, we're about to see where he goes. But, uh, yeah, he's a big kid. Likes to swat the ball. Him and Keandre Adams lead, lead uh, Joplin Eagles this year in uh, blocks. You know? Well, averaging. I can see it. They're tall. They're big. Yeah, they're they averaging about a there. block a game. So, you know, we'll have to see how they go tonight. That's pretty but, good. Uh, yeah, we'll see how it goes. You know, looking at other key stats, um, points per game, you know, you've got Charlie Brown. you got Charlie Brown, number one. Okay, you got Keandre Adams, number two, with 10, 10.7 points a game. Then you've got Jace Breaker. You got anything about Jace Breaker? Uh, Jace Breaker is one of them, one of those smaller players, but yet he performs really well, and he shows that he should be a starter and why he is a starter out there on the court every week in and week out. He's out there. He scores. He passes well. He's a great point guard. Yeah, I agree with that. He's a good point guard, and he's a good point guard for Charlie. He's smart too. He is smart. He knows his basketball. He all knows right? when to pass. He, he knows out when... with the teammates all the time. Exactly. He knows his game. You know, exactly. I do agree with that. The only thing with a drawback of Jace is he's he's turnover. He has a lot of turnovers. That's true, but most All point right. guards do. Yeah. I mean, you kind of got to look at that. They're the ones look at Charlie. that pass. He has, he has quite a few turnovers, but he's exactly. the most number one in the state. Exactly. So. It's just, that's just how it plays out, the game of basketball. That is. You know, point guards have the ball the most, they lose the ball the most. That's how it works, buddy. That is. So, yeah. Anyway, looking at some other key stats. Um, let's talk about Carlos Santillan. You know much about him? He's averaging six points a game, but those are key points for the Eagles right now. Very key. The Eagles need any points they can get. Every team does. Carlos Santillan is a fast break scorer. As soon as he gets in the open lane, he's there immediately. He's that fast. Yep, I agree with that. Here we go. Looking back at uh, Carlos Santillan, you know, he's a bench player. You know, but I think the Eagles have a lot of strength in their bench right now. They do. They have a lot of strength. All right. Well, it looks like uh, they're getting ready to do this national anthem. So uh, we're going to take a quick pause as we listen to the national anthem. I have to say, Grayson, that was an amazing job the band just did. Very, very well played. And you know 
what? Looking back, I just saw our sixth man, our student section, and they've grown in the past five minutes. It is ginormous right now. One of the biggest we've had this year. I mean, in attendance, we probably have well over 300 kids in our student section tonight. That's a lot, and I think that's going to drive the Eagles to victory. Here's the thing. you got to think about it like this. We're at a former Division II gymnasium, and we're almost taking up half an entire bleacher section here. That just, is a lot of people. Just the student section. You know, and they do call us a six man, and we're going to see how that works for the favor of the Eagles tonight. You're going to be hearing them over our microphones tonight, cheering and yelling and screaming. And key factor, that's what that's going to be in this game. It motivates the players so much to hear something like that in their background. Especially in a game when Rolla has to travel four hours away. I mean, you're not going to get anything other than parents and maybe a few students, brothers and sisters. I mean, that cannot compete with the Joplin Eagles student section tonight. Yep. And, you know, I heard a rumor the other day from Neosho that the Neosho coach came out with a, a statement saying that the, uh, when Neosho played here at Joplin last week, they had a really tough time focusing on anything because that student section is so good. That student section reminds me of a college-like atmosphere. I mean, it's so loud and so noisy all the time. You know, and it's so good to have students, students like us in such good school spirit this year. You know, the senior class this year has really led us. But um, I'll be honest with you, one person that really stands out to me this year, part of our student section, and a big help to the high school basketball team this year, is Jeremiah Brown. Oh, Jeremiah Brown, he's amazing. He fires the crowd up. He does whatever he wants to do. Charlie's brother, he gets them fired up. He's an amazing, amazing student, amazing kid. Amazing nice inspiration. Kid. Yeah, he is an inspiration to all of us. And he loves this team with all his heart. That's right. So we're going to hear the starting lineup for the Joplin Eagles. Starting it forward tonight. Dylan McVeigh is starting it forward tonight. Number 11 for the Joplin Eagles. He stands at six foot three. Here comes Keandre Adams out of the tunnel of players tonight. He's gonna be, make a big impact in this game. Here comes Jace Breaker, number 10. He's starting at guard tonight. We talked about him earlier. He's averaging about seven points a game. He will be that key factor for the Eagles tonight. Here he comes, Charlie Brown, the star of the Joplin Eagles. He knows how to get it done out there and he knows how to play basketball. Let's see how well he performs tonight against like, the Rolla Bulldogs. Like we said earlier, he's a Division I prospect. We're gonna have to really see how he does tonight against Rolla. And we're gonna have to see how Rolla performs against him. You know, that's going to be the key point. He averages 25, almost 25 points a game. I mean, all the teams that have, that have played him almost say that you can't stop him, you know? His height, he's 6'1". That makes him mobile. He can be mobile. Yes, he is mobile. He's an amazing athlete, Grayson. And we're going to have to really see how this works out for them tonight. That band is getting this student section fired up already before the game's even started. Yep. As we see, Rolla is already on the court. You see right there in the middle, Grayson, that's number 34. That is uh, Caleb Copeland. He will be the big man that we were talking about earlier for the Rolla Bulldogs. I can see how he can score tonight. I really can. He's yep. big and he looks mobile. And he's got some uh, He's got some built on him. He's, he's got some muscle. A lot of build. All right, Ted Higgerson. Here comes a tip. Oh. Looks like the ball was missed, and they're going to have to redo this again. Re-jump tonight. That's weird. You never really see that. Oh, here comes the student section. And tip goes to the Joplin Eagles. Jace Breaker's going to take it up the court. Jace Breaker looks oh, like he... he goes to pass it. Ball gets swatted out of bounds by number 11, Kobe Wands. We talked about him earlier, Grayson. Man, that student section's getting this crowd fired up. There they are. You can hear that sixth man going. Uh-oh. Charlie Brown's got the ball. Out to Jace Breaker for the three-point shot. No good. Ball's tipped up. But they're going to call a foul on Keandre Adams. The 
Foul will be on number 21, Keandre Adams. That'll be his first foul of the game. Looks like he went over the back on that one. Joplin's going to go with a full court press here to start off early. Here we Charlie go. Charlie Brown putting pressure on number 13 of the Rolla Bulldogs right now. That's, a, that's Kobe Wands' brother, Carter Wands. Kobe's got the ball. He's going to hand it out to Max Copeland, who's going to airball a three. Yep, he sure did airball. And here goes that student section. They're going to rile him up. Chase Breaker's taking the ball up the court to Charlie Brown. No good from Charlie. Just a little off the mark. That was close. Here comes number 14, Aaron DeAndre Frolick. Adams almost produced a steal right there. Yeah, but didn't quite get his hands on the ball completely. Ball's going to end up out of bounds, and uh, Rollins is going to have possession right here. They're going to come out in a stack, looks like. Here's setting Kobe up a play. Wants his brother right now. He's going to pass it in. Ball's going to be out of bounds. Looked like it was last touch by Charlie Brown. It's hard to tell right here, but number 13, Aaron Froelich. Or Carter Wands, excuse me. Aaron Froelich has the ball right now. Passes it back out to Carter. Carter's seeing a lot of touches early. Maybe he's an early, early factor for him. Here goes Caleb Copeland, passes it to Kobe. Oh, from three-point land, way off. Charlie ball's gonna be Brown. ball's gonna be brought up again by Charlie Brown. Keandre Adams gets the pass. Does a cross-court pass to Jace Breaker, kind of risky there. Passes it back out to Charlie Brown. It looks like they're trying to set up a play right here. Jace Breaker has got the ball. Keandre Adams sees it on the three-point line. No shot. Ooh, almost a travel there by Jace. The Eagles are really moving the ball well right now. They're moving the ball well, but they're not quite seeing a good open look to take a shot. No, Rollins is playing really tight defense. You know what's good about high school is there is no shot clock, so we don't really have to worry about that. That's good. They don't have to worry about getting uh oh Nice little crossover move and splash. Downtown Charlie Brown. There he goes. A little first two points of the ball game for the Eagles. Eagles take an early 2-0 lead here. Kobe Wands takes the ball up. No good. Ball's, Keandre oh, Adams. Keandre Adams gets a breakaway. Oh, nice little Euro step for the layup. The what Eagles a play. On the board again. That was a beautiful little move there by Keandre Adams. I couldn't have done that myself. Man, that student section's going crazy. It's almost like two men are on the court now. Max Copeland does not get his shot off. In time. Looks like there was a foul on the play, though. We're going to have to see who it is. Wow, that student section's loud, isn't it, Caleb? Yes, it is. Keandre Adams is going to come off the court, and in comes Carlos Santillan. Keandre Adams looks like he's in early foul trouble, though. He's already got two fouls. That last foul was on him. Keandre's getting really physical right now under the basket, and it's working out for the Joplin Eagles. Yeah. Eagles have a 4-0 lead right now. It's early. You know, we're only three minutes into the game, but... I mean, could this be a low-scoring game tonight? It could be, but I don't know. I think this game's going to get offense written all over it. Ball's passed out to Kobe Wands. Kobe tries a little crossover. No good. Copeland dishes the ball off to number 13, and it's swatted by Dylan McVay, but that won't count as we've got a... We got an offensive foul. Looks like a block. It's going to be on number 14, Aaron Froelich. Here comes Delshawn Garth, and he's going to pass it to Jace Breaker, your point guard for right now. Yep, new face in the game, number 20, Delshawn Garth. One of those bench players we were talking about earlier. And there's Spencer Lane, high arcing shot. Bucket. Beautiful bucket by Spencer Lane. 
Yeah, that was that was pretty good. Oh, and a reach in foul is going to be charged against Charlie Brown. He came around the back. Ball. Charlie Brown was beat there on the play and ended up having to compensate by trying to reach in for the ball and got called for a foul. Josh Copeland's going to throw it in. He gives it to number 11, Kobe Wands. Kobe Wands has got the ball right now, about three-quarter court. Gives it up to his brother. And from downtown, Kobe Wands drains a three-point shot for Rolla. So now that we've seen the three-point shot there by Kobe Wands, can we expect more? I think we can. I think he's going to get hot this evening. I mean, that was a beautiful shot. First shot of the game. Wow, that was a great shot. It, it, you know, it was a great shot, but... um. I mean, is he a prolific three-point shooter? Um, I think he can be, and he has his times. Sometimes he is, sometimes he isn't. I think tonight he might be. You know what I've noticed really early on now is um, Keandre Adams is really isolating uh, Ke uh, Caleb Copeland here. So, you know, it it's, looks like it's really paying off for him. He's playing really tight defense. Yes, he is. It's unbelievable. All right, we're going to get back to the action here. Jay's Breaker taking it up the court. He tries a little crossover. He's going to get a double team here. Now they're double teaming Charlie. Leaving Carlos Santillan wide uh -oh. open. Oh, what a swat Dude. by Aaron Frolick. Almost Char emphatic. Carlos Santillan with the ball again to Charlie Brown. Back out to Charlie. Oh, Charlie's going to take a deep three. No good, just short. Just off the mark right there. Charlie, expect him to get hot tonight. Here's Kobe. Uh-oh, into number 21. Oh, Sam it's, Marshall. It's going to be a miss. Oh. Miss layup, and it's going to be into the booth. Or should I say the scores table. Right out of bounds. That was a hard hit out of bounds. Oh, almost a backcourt there. That was risky. Jace Breaker did an incredible job of saving that. I was afraid it was going to be one of those turnovers of his, but... He saved it. Oh, he's going to get a double team here. And they're going to call a foul on Kobe Wands, number 11, for Rolla. That's a big foul for Joplin. Maybe that might kind of let up Rolla's defense right now. Hey, can you hear that? Can you hear that? They're saying, you can't do that. Wow. That'd get in my head if I was a Rolla Bulldog player. I'll tell you what, though. We're going to be hearing a lot of that tonight. Oh, yeah. Jace Breaker has the ball right now. Charlie's going to get a double team here. Charlie Ooh, almost was a team. walk from downtown. Skims off the rim. Just a little bit off there. Ooh, almost a travel. Carter Wands has the ball. Sam Marshall's going to take the ball. Dishes it off to Caleb Copeland. Caleb Copeland will set a screen, but fades away. Here comes number 14, Aaron. Ooh, I thought Just that was an over the back. The Doesn't make the shot. Ooh, what a move, but no good. Oh, oh and he tries to dunk it on the putback, but doesn't quite get it. From Charlie. downtown, Charlie Brown. Looked oh. like he was fouled, but there is no foul. That was a close call there, but. And it the was ref, an air ball. The ref saw something that we didn't. And oh. that's going to be a foul. That's definitely going to be a foul, but who are they going to call it on? Oh, they're going to call a push. They're going to call a push on Joplin. Number 11, Dylan McVeigh with the foul. I didn't even think he was in the vicinity. Must, must have been like a little push in the back or something. I believe it Cause was. Because it, it is on the floor, so it wasn't a shooting foul. It was a close foul. From deep two-point range. Wow, Raul is really dominating the board right now. Yeah. You know, I, I saw that as a struggle for Joplin. What a steal by Carlos Santillan. Carlos Santillan takes it up. Wow. And misses the open shot. That was close. And doesn't quite get that one either, but they are going to call a push. Looks like it's going to be a loose ball foul against Rolla. That was a close. That was 
That was close to a bucket right there, but it just didn't come in the Joplin Eagles' favor. Yeah, you're right there, Grayson. That last foul was on number 34, Caleb Copeland. He's going to take a seat. Charlie Brown has the ball now. Dylan McVay up top. This is it off to Carlos. Jaden Headybacks now in the game. He's a sophomore. Oh. oh, ball gets knocked out, and it's going the other way. I didn't quite see the uh, contact on Jaden, but he did lose the ball. So, you know, it's a costly turnover and mistake for Joplin. Close call, but there's going to be a lot of those in this game tonight. Yeah, there will be. Kobe Wands takes the ball up. This is it off to number 22. Unfortunately, he is not on the roster, so I can't quite get a name for him. This game is a defensive game so far tonight. Ooh, Six ball was swatted. Score. That ball was tipped. You can give a block to Spencer on that one. And then he ends up getting the rebound. But it looks like they're going to call a foul. Or, no, I disregard that. That will be a jump ball. Rolla will get the ball. Number three, Demarius Faison's going to sit under the baseline and pass the ball in. Looks like we're having some disagreement down here on the floor. Trying to get everybody set up here, the refs are. Speaking of refs, I'm going to give you guys names of refs tonight. For the refs tonight, let me get my paperwork out here. We've got Jeff Moyer, Craig Kelly, and Levane Murphy. Just off the mark there, Farala. And Dylan McV er, Spencer Lane's going to hand it to Charlie Brown. Brown going to dish to Jaden Hetty back. Brown gets the ball back. Looks like they're going to try to set up a play. Coach Williams is yelling out calls. Jaden's got the ball. Carlos looks for the inside but finds Delshawn on the wing. Just about Ooh, that ball was tipped. Saved by Charlie Brown. Charlie Brown does a lot for this team. He really does. Without Charlie Brown, I don't know where this team would be right now. Well, I agree. I agree with that. Charlie Brown has been the heart and soul of this team since his freshman year, and he's led this team to extraordinary things. And I'll be honest with you, though. Caleb Copeland for Rolla is almost in the same shoes as Charlie Brown. He really is. Everyone looks up to him. Everyone wants him to perform. Ball's given off. Carlos Santillan with the bucket as time looks to expire in the first quarter. And that'll be the end of your first quarter. Joplin holds an early lead, 8-3 to three on Rolla. You know, looking back there at the first quarter, you know, what can you take from that? It's defense, 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 defense. It's 8-3 to three right now in a high school men's basketball game. Um, that is, and both teams are very good. I mean, they're not bad teams. They're good. That's right there shows that this game is locked down on defense. Yep. Joplin this year is averaging 61 points a game. Do you think we'll hit that mark tonight, Grayson? Uh, I don't think we'll come close to that tonight. This is going to be a low-scoring basketball game. Kind of reminds me of a Big Ten college game. Yeah, it really does. Um, you know, looking back at Raleigh, you know, they had one shot. They had a three from Kobe Wands down here in the corner. Um, do you think we'll see more from Kobe, or do you think we'll – you know, get other players involved. When he hit that three, I thought we'd see a lot from Kobe, but we haven't seen much of him in the last four or five minutes of that quarter. Yeah, I mean, and, and Caleb, Caleb Copeland got into foul trouble, so we may not see a lot of him in this game. He'll come in. We'll see him in the end. Um, he might play in and out, but he won't play very long at a time. You know, and speaking of foul trouble, Keandre Adams got into foul trouble that quarter too. Two fouls already in the first quarter, but, you know, the Eagles have to think positive as well as the Bulldogs. I mean, it's a five-point game. It can go either way. Yeah, and both teams have the same record. So this is going to be a big game for both of them. Joplin's 1-0 and in conference play, and Rolla's 0-1 in conference play. So if Rolla wins, that could help them out. But if Joplin wins, that gives them an undefeated record so far in conference that play. That will. Now let's get back to the game. All right. Dylan McVeigh enters for the Eagles. Falls inbound to the Jace Breaker. Rolla's playing some really tight D right now. Very tight defense. 
Ooh. Just that's a cop. the hands of Spencer Lane. Costly mistake for the Eagles. We've They've got to catch those balls. That's about three or four of those right now. Eagles return with another full court press, just like they started off the game with. Caleb Wands beats Jace Breaker down the court. Listen to that student section. Oh, man. If you can't hear him, my ears are about to bust. That was a hard foul right there. Yeah, and that'll send Demarius face into the three free throw line for shooting two, two shots here. And that foul is going to be on number 44, Spencer Lane. It was a lot of contact. Almost hard to tell who the foul was on, but, you know, we got some good referees out here tonight, and they know exactly what they're doing. They do. They're some of the best in the Ozark Conference. Demarius hits his first shot. Ooh, a lot that of disruption from the sixth man. To him there. Ooh, almost stepped out. Oh, ball's tipped by Spencer. Kick back out to Jace. Carlos Santelio with the ball. Jace Breaker has it again. Oh, here's Dylan there. in the middle. Oh, oh. and Spencer Lane gets hard foul he by number 14, Aaron Froelich. That'll send. Spencer Lane to the free throw line. You know, looking back at their free throw percentage this year, Joplin hasn't been that great. They're only shooting 66% from the line. Great free throw though that was made by Spencer Lane. Push this to a seven point, or I'm sorry, a five point game. That will be a five point game. Spencer Lane is shooting 55% on the year. So he's made one shot here tonight. Let's keep tabs on how many he makes. That'll be his second free throw. Two buckets there for Spencer. Joplin's going to come out with their press again. Jace Breaker gets beat again. Ooh, looked like a travel. As you see there, Caleb Copeland is back in the game after some early foul trouble in the first quarter. That student section saying D up right now. They're yeah. the Eagles to get some defense. They are. Kobe Wands with the ball. Dylan's going to guard him pretty tightly tonight. Big man on little man right there. Almost stolen by Dylan McVeigh. Ball's down in the corner, and I think they're going to get Dylan McVeigh with a blocking foul right there. That was another close call. Dylan McVeigh's playing his heart out tonight. But I think they got the call right. I think they did. I really do. It was close, but the refs know exactly what they're doing. That'll send Kobe Wands to the line, shooting one and one. Joplin now has 17 fouls. To the Rolla Bulldogs, 14 fouls. Kobe Wands in the one and one situation. He's going to make the first one. Yep. And just like you said earlier, it's like a college atmosphere. They try to disrupt every part of every team's game that comes into this place. That is correct. Here they go again. Kobe Wands is solid from the free throw line. He's undistracted by that sixth man. He has five of si the six Rolla points right now. Yeah. He's a, he could be that prolific scorer that we've been talking about for Rolla. Charlie brings up the ball. Not very oh, closely guarded, but ball stolen. is intercepted. By number 13, Carter Wands. Kicks it out to his brother, Kobe. Oh, he drives the lane and gets that bucket to fall. He's now got seven points now. Kobe Wands is rolling right now for that roll of offense. Spencer Lane with the ball deep inside. Gets a little nice put up. Spencer knew what he was doing right there. He used his body to get under the basket, and it paid off. Spencer's really grown this season. I'm not talking in size, but I'm talking in ability. You know, he might only be averaging five points, but you see this kid play, he is a monster. That ball's from way downtown and didn't hit a thing. Kobe Wands might have got too confident in his abilities right there. He had a few players open, but he had to do what he had to do. You ever heard of Jimmer Range? Oh, Jimmer Fredette? Oh, yes, I have. He used to play at OBYU, and that was a that was a shot that Jimmer Fredette would take. Yeah. We call that Jimmer range. He would knock that down. Yeah. Kobe Wands was a little bit unfortunate there, coming up a little bit short. 
But they are going to give the ball back to Kobe. Now out to Carter. Carter Wands knows what he's doing as well. Chase Breaker guarding him tightly. Some tight D here by Joplin. Not allowing him any room inside. Ball's from three-point range, and that's going to be drained by the other Wands brother, Carter. The Wands brothers are dominating this Rolla offense right now. Ooh, a hard foul, and that's going to be a block on Rolla. Hard foul. Charlie Brown took that one. You know, like we said earlier, Charlie Brown really likes to drive to the lane. He does what he has to do to score. That's why he's a Division I prospect. That'll send Charlie Brown to the line shooting two points, or shooting two shots, should I say. Crowd gets quiet. Charlie Brown knocks down the first one. Yep. He is, he is a, uh, a consistent free throw shooter shooting 85%. That's very good. 85% of his free throws get knocked down. That's, that's a stat to be proud of. A very good stat to be proud of. Here he comes as the crowd gets quiet again. You can hear a pin drop in here now. And that ball's drained. He knocks it down. He makes this a three-point game, 14 to 11. Joplin Eagles in the lead. Oh, balls! It's going to be a ball stolen to Keandre. Adams. Here comes Keandre with that little bit and of a pump fake, and they're going to call a travel. Oh. They're going to call a travel. To me, that looked like a euro step. That was a beautiful euro step, and they called it a travel. That looked clean to me, but you got to go with what the refs say. You know, he might have actually taken a step before. I I couldn't tell. Um. Let's close D, you know, no contact, but good Jeff play Williams by Keandre. Over there, head coach of the Joplin Eagles. They're, he's talking to the ref right now to see what that was. Ball's down here in the corner to Caleb. Oh, oh! And the ball is completely stuffed. Joplin Eagles have had the blocks tonight. You know, and that really hasn't been a big part of their game all year long. And that ball's intercepted by Keandre. Giving up to, oh, what a move. Oh, my goodness. Oh, oh! back dunk. Spencer Lane. And they're not going to count it. No basket. That'll be basket interference for the Eagles. That is a shame. You cannot touch the ball while it is going through the basket. Spencer we don't Lane. see that very often. That's almost like an offensive goaltending. Spencer Lane saw that one and he was going for it. it it's just a shame that it didn't count. You cannot touch the ball while it's going through the basket. He's not too happy about it, but he's still playing great defense. You can almost give a lot of props to Carlos Santillan for that last play. That and is going to be a charge, and it's going in the Joplin Eagles' favor. Jace Breaker's the one that took that charge. It looked like a charge, but it was actually a travel call. Oh. There will be no foul on that play, even though it was a lot of contact. The travel was found before the charge took place. Jason brings the ball up. Oh, looks like a reaching foul, and Kobe's going to get it. That's right. Kobe Wands. Look how calm Jace Breaker is taking that ball. He's calm and collected. He should be shooting one and one, but I don't think they're going to give it to him here, as that was only a reaching foul. I think he needed a little bit of harder foul to go to the line. Charlie with the ball here. Let's see how he does this here. Looks like they're setting up an isolation almost for Charlie. Oh, and a crossover. Oh. Beautiful play, but they're going to call a blocking foul. And Charlie's going to go to the line again. Charlie's 2-2 two and two at the line tonight right now, shooting 100%. Let's see if he can go 4-4 four four right here. That foul is going to be on number 13, Carter Wong of the Bulldogs. And the Rolla Bulldogs coach is going to give the referee a piece of his mind. Charlie Brown knocks down his first shot. Free throw line could be a big factor for the Eagles tonight. Charlie Brown knocks down his fourth free throw. He's shooting 100% and four for four. Yeah, he's, he's shooting pretty well. Carter Wands with the ball. 
You give it out to number 42. There they go. Here comes here comes Rolla, trying to find a way in. Doesn't quite find it, but they're saying the ball is going to be tipped right there. Bulldogs will regain possession. This game is a close, low-scoring game right now. 3:23 left in the second quarter. Tyler Keene inbound the ball. Oh, what a move there by Caleb Copeland. Doesn't quite get anything. Charlie Brown. I thought he was fouled court. on the play. Looks like he's going all the way. Oh, ball's tipped. That should have been a travel right there. That should have been a travel. But here comes Copeland. But he lost it. He's going to shoot. And splash. 16 to 13. Three <laughs> minutes left. Charlie Brown taking it up the court. Caleb Copeland splashed that ball. It's only a two point shot, but it was a beautiful stroke right there. Oh, beautiful. Nice jumper. You have that open shot, Grayson. You got to take it. Oh, there wouldn't be any other way. Charlie's got the ball. Oh, inside to Carlos, Carlos Santillan. Misses the easy bucket. You know, you got to convert shots like that. Use the backboard, bud. Can't just throw it in the hoop. These players are under pressure a lot right now. Here's Carter Wands with the basketball. Caleb, ooh, nice little turnaround. Great turnaround, great form. Just didn't have enough on that ball. Charlie Brown once again taking it up the court. Getting the play from Coach Jeff Williams. Looks like they're calling a play the number four. Calling the number four, we'll see what this is. Looks like Delshawn's gonna set a screen. Screen works well. Doesn't quite get him anywhere, though. Oh, Charlie from way downtown. Oh, no. And doesn't man. quite go. Off back iron right there, but Charlie Brown, he's going to get more consistent as the night goes on. Charlie's known for his threes, but he hasn't hit any tonight. We'll see how he keeps doing this. Here goes the student section again. D up. Oh. And he's going to get fouled there. That was, that was a blocking foul. I do have to agree. And that'll send Caleb Copeland to the line shooting two shots. Okay. The foul's going to be on number 10, Jace Breaker. Look at that student section. Can you hear it? I sure can. The first three free throw will be missed. Caleb Copeland's a good scorer, but he's got to make his free throws. Free throws are definitely going to matter tonight in this game. This student section is wreaking havoc on him right now, but he's going to make it. You know, tough, he's got a tough he, shot to make. He's going to have to deal with that in college. You know, that's what all the colleges do nowadays is just yell, 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 yell. They know how to distract. Spencer, Spencer Lane with the ball. ball. going to toss it back to Carlos Santillo. Carlos Santillan from way downtown doesn't quite get it to go. Dylan tries to put it back in, doesn't quite get it. Rawl is going to end up with the rebound right there. Carter Wands is going to come up here. Going to dish it off. Dylan guarding him tightly. Ooh, nice little shifty move there. Doesn't quite get the basket to go. Charlie Brown taking it back up the court. Let's see if he'll score here. And he does. Beautiful basket. Beautiful fingertip roll. That's how you do it. That's how you do it. Charlie that Brown. Is, that is definitely what you call a college athlete. He knows how to get it done. Carter taking up the ball. Charlie wanting to get that ball. Oh, tries to get it. Oh, and he got a hand on it, but doesn't quite get a hold of it. The ball... And that's going to be a that's going to be a timeout. That'll be a timeout called by Rolla. With a timeout by Rolla on the floor, the Joplin Eagles are winning 18 to 14 right now over the Rolla Bulldogs in a tight game. How do you feel about the second quarter here? What, what's different about the second quarter than the first quarter? What do you think the teams have made an adjustment on? Offense. I mean, they're scoring now like they should have been the first quarter. Um, they're scoring well too. Uh, Joplin Eagles are knocking down a lot of inside shots. Um, free throws have also been a key factor for the Joplin Eagles. Yeah, you're right. Free throws have been a key factor. 
You know, uh, Charlie Brown has made uh, all four of his shots from the free throw line. I think he's going to keep going to the free throw line tonight. He's uh, going to drive that lane. Yeah, he's made the majority of the job with Eagles points, but you know, we kind of figured that coming into the game. Oh, Charlie Brown, he's always a big factor. All right, here we go. We're going to get right back to the action here. After the timeout from Rolla, Rolla's going to inbound the ball here. Carter Wands is going to take it. Carter likes to have that ball in his hands. He does a lot with it. He's just a natural. Can you hear that student section? Oh, there's Kobe from Three. downtown. Doesn't quite go, and that's going to that be into the half. Is half time. That will end half. Joplin leads here at halftime, 18 to 14. Most of the points here have come from Charlie Brown. What can you say about that, Grayson? Charlie Brown, he knows how to roll. I mean, he's taking it to the basket and performing extremely well. I'm unbelievable. You know, and then we look back at Rolla. Uh, Kobe Wands, he's been a key factor. Even though he hasn't gotten a lot of touches coming up the court, um, he doesn't play well in the backcourt because he didn't get the ball very much. But once he comes up the court, you know, they look to get him the ball. He's their go-to guy for this Rolla Bulldogs offense right now. I mean, he plays great defense, but offense is his game. Yeah, you're right. He does play good offense, and uh, it's good to see his brother Carter in on every play, too. That's right. They're working really well. And I noticed something about uh, Rolla that Joplin doesn't really carry that much is their um, overall ability to, give, to dish the ball off, to give assists. Joplin likes to have a lot of breakaways. They're really well conditioned. So, Rawl likes to get down the court, slow things up, work plays out. Hey, you know, they do what they got to do. You know, it, it's really good to see that, though. That's right. Because colleges, colleges love that kind of stuff. Colleges love Charlie Brown. He's got about ten schools. Ten schools talking to him? Yeah, I mean, he's got a lot. He's got a couple Division II schools, but the majority of them are Division One. Yeah, and it's nice to see an athlete like that come out of Joplin High School. That is right. So, you know, here in a little bit, we're going to have an interview from the athletic director of Joplin Schools, Coach Starkweather. He knows how to work. He's a very good athletic director. He's very nice. He helps the students out. And he's going to be coming up right here behind us right wow. now. Wow. Look at this. My bad, fellas. Hey, How's it going, Mr. Starkweather? Pretty good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hey, we're just going to have a little quick interview with sure. you. Uh, how do you think the season for the Eagles this year is going so far? Oh, we're having a really good year. Uh, 11 and 5. You know, there's a couple games obviously that we felt like we could we could have won, but that's the way it goes sometimes. But you know, I think uh, our kids are playing really hard. We're having a good year. Yeah. How do you feel about this year's Joplin High School student section? Unbelievable. It's awesome. Uh, we love to see all these kids out here supporting our Eagles. They're doing a great job. I love the fact they're having a theme night like tonight's yeah. Hawaiian night. Um, it, it's, it's been a really good deal for all of us. You know, that, that's a really good thing to see. And we were talking earlier about the sixth man, how that was a big part of the job Absolutely. in high school. Um, another question, how do you feel about the uh, big play by Charlie Brown tonight? Well, Charlie's always been, uh, been our guy, that, our go-to guy, and he's always been a great, doing a great job for us. And it's just like any other night for him. He's stepping up in his game like he always does. Yeah, I agree, I agree, definitely. Um, have you been able to talk to Coach Williams lately, and has he said anything big about the team? Oh, yeah. He's, he thinks we're getting better, obviously, as well. Uh, we got some younger guys, some juniors that are kind of stepping up their play. This is That's what's neat about this team. A lot of these guys have not played a lot of varsity basketball before this year, and so they're, they're getting better each and every game, and as the season's going on, we're, we're seeing that. Yeah, I agree. How do you think about the conference? How do you think that, you know, Joplin High School will end up this year in our conference play? Well, the conference is very tough. Obviously, we're all, we're off to a 2-0 and start. This is the conference game tonight. We get this one, we can be 3-0. and uh, Our games are going to get a lot tougher from this point on as well. A lot of the Springfield schools are very good in basketball, so that's why it's important we can hopefully get this game tonight. Yeah, thank you so much for the Absolutely. interview. Absolutely. Appreciate it. Glad that you guys are here tonight. Yeah, so thank you. for being here. Good job. Four. Thanks, guys. Four. All right. They're actually calling our tickets right now. I'm going to go shoot a half-court shot for $250. I'll see you later. Did you really just win? Did he really? No, no way. He just won? Yeah. Half 
Um, he came into this game laughing that he was going to win this. And he actually ended up winning this. He says he's been practicing. I totally had no idea this was going to happen. What if I get picked? Nope, didn't quite get picked. But we do have a winner here in the student section. Can't quite see. Oh, and it's going to be Antoine Hines. He's one of our student section favorites. He's all dressed up tonight in Hawaiian. You know, I really want to see how Grayson Cox does his shot. You know, he told me that if he gets it, he's going to split the money with me. I, I doubt it, though. Let's see how this goes here. Uh-oh. Uh-oh, Grayson's gonna take a practice shot. No, don't shoot like that, Grayson. That's how you shoot, Grayson? Come on, bud. Antoine with the shot, and way short. Way short there by Antoine. No good by Grayson. He's going to come back up here and join me now. He didn't win no money. It's all going to come down to Antoine. Can he shoot this? Because if he can't, the money's going to keep going up here. Here he comes from the corner. And it's going to be short. It's going to be short. All right, I'm joined back up here by Grayson Cox. Grayson, let's get an interview with you, buddy. How do you how do you feel about not making the half court shot tonight? Oh uh, well, uh, I shot pretty bad. Uh, I really should have <laughs> went two hands in my first one, but usually I really go. Uh, I usually go one hand on it. Usually knock those down all day, but you I like to knock them down? I I knock them down all the time, but it's just obviously. Obviously not my night, as you just saw. Hey, that was pitiful. Hey, I was telling the viewers too that you would have uh, split the money with me. Is that correct? Um, not really, actually. All the cheerleaders down there, I was gonna take them out for ice cream, but well, you can't now because you don't have any money, buddy. I can't. I don't have any money, so uh, <laughs> I'm a little screwed on that part. But well, oh well, hey. I still got out. You know, that's all, man. <laughs> You know, it's funny to see that you actually got picked because you were talking about this all day long. About all you getting day. picked for this. I, when, I mean, we were up here talking to Mr. Starkweather. I just glanced down while we're on camera, and I thought, that's my ticket. And then they said last chance. I just ran off. I mean, I just tried to do what I could to make it, but it just didn't work <laughs> out. You know, if I would have asked Coach Starkweather one more question, you would have not have gotten your chance. I know, and I appreciate that, Kaylin. You did everything to help me. Um, That's why you should have split the money with I me. Just, I just, I would have thought about it. I just <laughs> didn't close that out. Yeah, I'll be honest with you. That was a terrible shot. That was, that was awful. Hey, uh, the second one was a little better, though, actually. Um, I felt I got under that pretty good. You airballed it, buddy. Oh, no. Uh, yeah, but, I mean, it was close. It was an airball. It was close. Yeah. You know, I'm not a basketball player, though. If I was a basketball player, I'd be out there right now. you're a basketball commentator. That's right. Um, that's why I commentate, and I'm not actually in <laughs> the game. You don't shoot the games. I know. That's right. So, okay. Uh, basically, let's just ask a couple questions here. Um, first of all, what do you think about this year in the high school basketball season? I'm excited. Uh, our girls' team has gotten a lot better this year. They've improved a lot, and uh, our coach is doing a very good job with them. The girls is more excitement. And the boys' team's had a good year so far. I think we're, it's fun to watch, and, and the kids are really get into the game. So it's a better atmosphere all the way around. Yeah. How do you feel the uh, new school has going to improve on the high school basketball atmosphere? I think when, when our students and especially our athletes see the, the new gym, they're going to want to play in that gym. And I think the way that it's going to be arranged, it's kind of a horseshoe seating arrangement, seat about 2,500 people. I think they're going to be excited about being there. Uh, there's going to be a really good atmosphere. It's a top load type situation where you go walk down to your seats and then we have corner openings where the players will run out and we can set the band up in certain areas and you know student cheering sections in certain areas that 
I think that's going to just be more conducive to kind of a really big time atmosphere. Yeah, that'll be really good. So thank you again for the interview today. Um, that's about all the time we have because the game's going to get ready to start again. So we got to start commentating it again. But thank you so much for the couple questions we asked you. You're welcome. Good to be here. Thank you. All right, we're going to get back to the action here. All righty. Rawl is going to get the ball to start off the half. As we see here, the ball is going to be given to Caleb, Wan or Caleb Copeland. Wow. And no good. Caleb Copeland is on a definite cold streak tonight. Hasn't quite made anything. Spencer Lane grabbed that rebound right there. You know, looking down at his reactions, he's kind of upset with himself. Ooh, that's going to be a travel. Oh, wow. That's going to be a travel. That was an iffy call, but I could see it going either way. I could. It almost looked like a foul you know, over the back, but didn't quite get it. Here comes Joplin High School out with their full court press again. They really like to do this. It's a low pressure full court press. So they don't really press hard, but, you know, they kind of tell Rolla that, hey, we're still there. Charlie Brown is now cut. <clears throat> covering the star of the Roller Bulldogs. Oh, splash! That wow. ball was definitely hit from downtown. That was a downtown shot. I mean, unbelievable. Oh, almost looked like a travel slip there. Oh, and there he goes again, Shane O'Brennan. Another two points for Shane. Wow, Rollas came out hot and taking the lead 19 18 right now. Rolla takes a quick lead, and that'll be a timeout for Joplin. You know, I'm very impressed already. They must have talked about something in the half. They, talk, they talked about something, and it's obviously working out right now. Wow. They came out and scored five points right off the bat, just like that. Yeah, and I was thinking that they were going to give it off to Kobe, but we see a new face, Shane O'Brien. He scored the early five points for the Royal Bulldogs. He's stepping up. I mean, he's already got three quarters of the points that Kobe has. And he didn't, he didn't start. No. But he's going to start the second half. So, I mean, can we see more from Shane O'Brennan? Oh, yeah, the coach obviously saw something in him sitting in the locker room. He must have saw he's ready to play, and he stepped up big. He put him in the game. Oh, man. All right, we're going to get back to the action here. You know, Joplin did take the timeout, so they're going to get the ball here. They're going to get the ball down here on the other end of the court. Jace Breaker's going to bring the ball up here. He's going to get some early double team pressure. Unfazed, gives it off to Charlie Brown, Charlie takes Brown it in for the layup. Gives the Joplin Eagles a lead right there. Coach Williams must have told them, hey guys, we need to wake up. Bad start to the second half. Oh, there he is again. Shane Seven point. Shane O'Brennan. Seven points already that's, this half. That's We're seven not straight even points. Full two minutes in this half right now. Ball's gonna be blocked by Shane O'Brennan. He got a block on that one. It's going to be number 14, Aaron Frolick. Nice little layup there. Unbelievable. Rolla is, they've came out hot. Rolla's on a 9-2 run right now. Let's see if they can keep up the momentum. Or they're, could Joplin stop it here? They're obviously doing something right. Their coach, he said something to him in the locker room to get him fired up. I don't know what it was, but it's obviously working really well. Charlie oh shoots the ball my. for two, a deep that two. That was a beautiful looking turnaround jump shot right there. But it didn't quite fall for Charlie. Here comes Kobe Wands. He's gonna Ooh, lose it. Nope, and it's gonna be a foul. Looks like they're gonna give Spencer Lane a blocking foul. Actually, no, it's gonna go against Jace Breaker. Wow, it looked like Spencer Lane, like that's me. Well, they really need to keep Spencer Lane in the game. So it's a, you know, it's an unfortunate thing to see Jace Breaker get the foul, but it might actually pay off for the Eagles. Here comes Kobe, probably gonna try to throw on some dribble moves on Carlos, doesn't quite get anything though. Shane O'Brennan for three. Oh, Shane O'Brennan thinks he's hot. 10 points. That one went in and out. Shane O'Brennan sets a screen. Uh oh, he's here comes Carter. Wow, what a here pass. Here comes Fro Frolic. The shot not Ooh, so much. Oh, doesn't quite get it, but Caleb, Caleb Copeland. Wow. With the put back. That's now an 11-2 run for the Rolla Bulldogs. 25 to 20, Rollas came out hot this second half to take the lead from the Joplin Eagles. The Eagles really need to recover right here. Carlos Santillian with the ball to Dylan McVeigh. Now back out to Charlie. Charlie drives the hoop. 
Doesn't oh. quite get it to fall. So close. Charlie was good in the sec in the, in the first half, but he's come out in the second half a little bit cold, missing two of his first two shots. Oh, and they're gonna give him a blocking foul. Charlie Brown is gonna get that foul. That's the second foul of this game, I believe. Uh, yes, that is, Grayson. That'll be his second foul. That'll be the second team foul. Rawl is probably gonna look to get in the bonus here early. Oh, tried to set up the play there, but didn't quite give it off to him. The student section is chanting, this is our house. You know, they've oh. got to prove it, though. You know, they're down, they're down here by five points. With four minutes left in the third quarter. Ball was knocked out of bound there by Carlos Santillan. Toby. Off to, wow. off to Caleb, Taylor and Caleb Copeland. sinks a shot. Beautiful little floater almost right there. Good touch on that ball. 27 to 20, the Eagles are down. They led pretty much his whole game up until the second half. You know who I'm surprised hasn't shot tonight at all is Dylan. Oh, and you know what? Just as I say that, oh, wow. uh, he airballs it. But That's Carlos a shame. Getting, Dylan gets it, and he puts it and in. Dylan puts it in. He and took two Dylan shots. Bay. First two shots of the game. I knew it was coming, that possession. Five-point game again. Eagles are pulling back. Oh, another blocking foul. Joplin needs to lay off these blocking fouls. That's going to really kill them down the road. They're going to have to start bringing in their subs if they go, if they foul too much more. Do you think the bench can take the pressure? I don't know. You got a couple guys on there that are kind of veteran players and been playing for a while. Austin Zingle. Uh, Jace Breaker's on the bench. You got Brian Overstreet as well. I'm not sure about the pressure, but... There's Kobe. Giving it off to his brother Carter. Giving it back to Carter from Shane. Oh! Tries to get around Charlie. Doesn't quite work there. Charlie's got some wheels on him. Quick feet. Oh, look at Caleb. What a move. Caleb Copeland what takes a beautiful a move, move right to the basket. Unbelievable move. Nice little finger roll layup right there. Joplin really needs to get on this thing. And they lose the ball. Uh-oh, here comes Caleb. Ooh, oh, that looked like a foul. Was going for the swat. Didn't quite get any of the ball there, but did disrupt the shot. There's Kobe with the ball. You know, it's good to see Charlie playing some hard defense there. Ooh, player on the ground. Shane's on the ground, but he gets out. Kobe with the ball, dishes it off to Aaron. Delshawn with the coverage. Wow. Not good enough, though. Not good enough. Aaron Frolic gets the basket there. Rollo. And Rawl is going to call a timeout. Nine-point game. You know, it, it, it's amazing to see how Rawl has come out this half. You know, they've, they're on a 16-4 to four run. You know, I have a question for you, Kalen. Do you think it's necessary that Rawl call that timeout? It almost could it hurt him. I'm wondering. I mean, Joplin's getting set, and Rolla, I don't know what they're talking about. They're playing great basketball right now. Maybe they're telling them, hey, guys, keep going. We're winning. Hey, you know, if I was their coach, that's what I would do. That's what i do. You know, four minutes ago, actually, no, six minutes ago, Rolla was down by four. Now they, they're up by nine. They have 14 points. They have 31 now. Yeah. That's unbelievable. They've doubled their score in a matter of four minutes. Unbelievable. They must have really talked about something really important there in the half. They did something right. All right, we're gonna get back to the action. It looks like there was a full timeout there. So we're gonna have a couple seconds before the players get back on the court. They're gonna get rehydrated over there in that huddle as well. Coach Williams, I guarantee you, is giving the Eagles some advice to pull through this run. Eagles gotta stop it here. It's, it, it's crucial, absolutely crucial Jace, for the Eagles to get this. Jace Breaker's back in the game. That could be a big impact. Charlie's going to bring up the ball here. Let's see how they do this hat, this little possession here. Oh, from Three way downtown. Brown. And that, doesn't get it to go. If that would have went in, that could have been the momentum changer. But it wasn't. No. So, Rawls is going to continue the run here, it looks like. 
Oh. Caleb Copeland with the ball. Big man up top, acting like a guard. Oh, what a pass. Outside shot. And a charge. They're going to call a charge on Rolla. Great way to set his feet. Jay's breaker, he made that charge happen. Wearing it. He wore that charge like nobody's business. Carter, Carter Wands picked up that charge there. Carlos Santillan with the ball right now to Delshawn Garth. It's kind of hard to see down there in that student section. Wow, what a pass. Ooh, ball's passed back out. Ooh, nice little shifty move there to pass out of a shot. And the ball misses. There's something I noticed about Joplin tonight. They cannot find the three-point range basket. Yeah, I don't think they've hit one. No, but their inside game has been pretty good. You know, maybe they should stop shooting the threes, you know, or limit the threes, and possibly, you know, look for Spencer Lane down the low plus, low post. Spencer Lane's that big man that can score those points. And look, sure. look Co Coach Williams probably sees the same thing, you know, we're seeing. Put Spencer Lane back in the game and put the ball on the blocks. That's right. You know, put the ball in his hands. Send it down low in the lane. And they're going to call a foul. And Good it looks foul. like Rolla, number three, Good Demarius Faison's going to get the foul right there. Charlie's going to bring up the ball, trying to save some time here. Scores 22 to 31, Rolla. Oh, Charlie there was Charlie, the basket. Oh, and no Spencer good. Lane. Spencer Lane tries to put it back up, doesn't quite get it, and the ball's going to be, oh, and they're going to get a foul called. Charlie Brown's going to pick up his third foul of the game. I actually think that foul was on Spencer Lane. You know, it looked like there was some contact there early, but the rest must not have seen it, and then picked up the foul on Charlie. Either way, you know, it's a killer for the Eagles right now. But they are going to come out in a full court press. And they're going to press a little bit harder this full court press. Jace Breaker playing really tight defense on Kobe. He just keeps getting beat, though. That ball. Oh, my. And a little tip in, and that ball's going to count, and he gets fouled. That'll be an and one for Caleb Copeland. Wow. 59.2 seconds left in the third quarter, and it's an 11-point game with Rolla at the free throw line. This is an 18-4 quarter. Rolla is absolutely dominating this quarter. Thanks to the help from Caleb Copeland and Shane O'Brien. He misses the free throw and wow. Oh my God, he gets his own rebound. Wow. And he puts it back in. What a play by Caleb wow. Copeland. Unbelievable. Copeland is on fire right now. This kid's going to play college basketball. He's showing he has the absolute potential to do anything he wants. They've been shutting down Charlie Brown pretty good tonight. They've shut down Charlie Brown. And the second half has just been an absolute disaster for the Eagles tonight. And that's going to be a foul. Almost and one for Jace Breaker. Almost. You know, that could have been that momentum changer. Jace Baker is going to go to the line and shoot two. That's going to be on foul. That's going to be a foul on number 11, Kobe Wands, one of their key players. That's going to be his third foul. Would you consider three fouls right now foul trouble? Um, Pretty close. Pretty, pretty close. Ah, he misses his first free throw. We cannot be missing free throws right now. Go get it down. Jace Breaker can absolutely not miss free throws right now. He needs to make this free throw. This is this is a big time in this game right here. 31.9 seconds left. And he makes it. That's a that's that's key right there. Like I said earlier. Key free throw to pull it back to 11. I think Rawl is going to try to either press really hard or get that last shot. Demarius Faison had the ball, but gives it off. Oh, here comes Kobe Wands. Oh, I thought that was a block, but it wasn't. ID by the job. Demarius Faison. Oh, I thought that was a carry. Are they overplaying? They're calling out plays here. Six seconds. Marking out their signals. The clock is ticking. They need a last second shot. He's what a shot. Oh, oh my gosh. My what, a shot. what a shot. That is a oh, three point on. shot. It's going to be 38 to 23 starting the fourth quarter. Wow. Can you believe this run? Rollo's got momentum written all over it. They held the Eagles 
the Joplin Eagles to five points in the third quarter. They Joplin Eagles had five points, while Rolla picked up. Well, Rolla picked up 22 points on that half. You know, here's the thing. Can Joplin rebound after a terrible third quarter? That's a question I think everyone's asking themselves right now on the Eagles bench. I don't know. Do you think they have the confidence? I don't know. I'm speechless for words right now after that, that quarter by Rolla. That you was know, so impressive. This game they rebounded well. I don't know. This game has gone from absolute boring, no offense, it was, it was pretty boring, limited scoring, to you shooting a half court shot for $400 and missing an air balling. I mean, to Joplin falling down 22 points. Real quick, Kaylin, I might add, a, I'd like to see you in that situation out there um, for the half court shot. I could probably pull through better than you uh, could, buddy. You're a baseball pitcher. Uh, we'll see how that goes, man. <laughs> All right, here we go. We're going to get back to the action right Charlie here. Charlie Brown's going to take it. Charlie's got the ball. Going to put it in that corner. Charlie Brown needs to get in this game. He needs to have a monster. That ball's for three. Oh, oh there's that those. Was so close. There's those threes that Out we were talking Charlie about. Uh-oh, he drives the, the hoop. And, and he makes it. it. Charlie Brown pulls it to within 13. If Rolla can score... A lot of points in the third quarter. The Eagles can score a lot of points. Ooh. Oh, it's a turnover oh. by Carlos Santillian. Carlos Santillian, nice little breakaway right there. The Joplin Eagles puts are going a quick, on a run. Joplin puts a quick four points there. Rolla had the momentum in the third quarter by putting up a quick four points. Joplin puts up a very quick four points, quicker than Rolla. Let's see if the Eagles can rebound here. If they can rebound, I will be absolutely amazed. Here comes Rolla up the court. The student section's back in this game. Oh, Demarius Faison gets the ball. About loses it there. I'm wondering if the Eagles' fast play isn't kind of disturbing the Rolla Bulldogs' offense right now. Kobe had the ball, but gives it off to his friend Caleb. Ooh, Demarius oh, gets it. stolen. Ooh. DeAndre Adams all but had a hand on that. Nice little touch there by Demarius. Jace Breaker brings up the ball. Oh, oh. Oh, man tries to get, over. Tries to give the ball up to Spencer, but Spencer loses it. Here goes Kobe. Kobe goes Wands. in, loses the ball. Keandre. Keandre goes in, but... Picks up a blocking foul for number three, Demarius. This game has had its highs and lows. It went from having a low scoring first quarter to a pretty good normal high school basketball game second quarter. And then in the third quarter, the Rolla Bulldogs lit up the scoreboard. You know, that's a, that's a really good recap of what we've seen so far. But I think Joplin might be on the run here. Plus, you got to see me shoot a half court shot. Yeah, that was terrible. That's okay. Ooh! They cannot find the three-point mark, but three it's going to be Eagles miss. rebound. Eagles rebound. Jaden Hedeback needs to go back up, but Spencer no. Spencer Lane, there's Spencer Lane down low right now. Jaden Hedeback picks up the assist right there to Spencer Lane. Uh oh, here comes Demarius. Ooh! With the big hop in the finger roll. He got up there on that one. Kids got some hops. Oh, oh and Charlie the Brown lost it. Jace Breaker's going to try to get it, but it's not going to happen. The ball's going to end up in the Bulldog hands. Uh-oh. Tries to back down, but doesn't quite get anywhere. Uh-oh. Oh nice little goodness. oop. Nice little alley-oop layup Ballard there. Is starting to show that they mean business coming here tonight. Did they just decide to show up in the second half and not the first? I think so. They couldn't find the basket in the first half, but in the second half? Wow. I mean, this team is actually very impressive right now. Uh oh, for three and no good. In and out, they cannot find their mark from three point range. I mean, somebody just needs to tell them to stop shooting from three point range. Every trip down the court, they shoot from three and they miss. They need to either get really hot or do something. No good. The Eagles can score and they can score fast. I have faith. Don't shoot the three. There like you Keandre go, drive Adams. the lane. Oh my. And another miss. Man. 
Joplin is just not getting the breaks tonight. Kobe Wands goes to the basket, dishes it out for three, and no good. If I had a dollar. Uh-oh, here's Caleb. Caleb Copeland with the ball. What were you saying? If I had a dollar for every shot that rimmed out for the Joplin Eagles tonight, I would have won. Your $400. Oh, my $400. <laughs> I mean, unbelievable. Uh, they need to get the lid off the basket is what they need to do. I mean, they're playing great defense, like right there, Keandre Adams. But, wow. That's a good rebound there by Spencer. The ball is not kind to them tonight. Ooh, nice little move there by Jaden. Nice shot by Jaden Hedeback. Jaden Hedeback drives to the lane and he lays the ball right in. You know, we're going to have a little quick timeout here. Uh, how do you feel about Joplin in the fourth quarter? Uh, they came out pretty hot. They scored uh, nine points so far, I believe. Um, I don't really know what to say about Rollo, though. They're still impressive. Uh, they're pressuring the Joplin Eagles on uh, defense right now. And uh, their offense is unbelievable. I mean, their field goal percentage right now is sky high. It's up into the 70s. They haven't missed. I mean, it, it's amazing right now to see how good Rollo really is. It really is unbelievable. I mean, wow. Rollo, they're playing phenomenal basketball this second half. They would have been playing like this in the first half. They could have 100 points on the board right now. Well, I agree, but here's the thing. Joplin this quarter has come out strong, they but they have. still haven't been able to be as strong as Rolla. Turnovers, that's what's keeping them out of this game. Turnovers and bad shot selection. Turnover and bad shot selection is exactly right. You cannot throw up them threes like, no. like it's nobody's business. I mean, if they're not hitting, they're not hitting. They're going in and out, and that's just... It's just not Joplin. You got to get the ball down low. You got to, you got to get the ball down low, and you got to do everything. Rolla called timeout there, so Rolla's gonna get the ball here under the basket. Joplin's gonna press. What a pass by the Baseball Rolla Bulldogs. Type pass. That looks like you out there, Kalen. Yeah, it kind of does. Maybe they should put me on the Rolla team just for throwing the ball in. That'd be great. Kobe to his brother. Shot. <laughs> you never know. <laughs> Here we go, Carter. Carter's got the ball. Oh, trying to throw some shifty moves on Jace. Doesn't quite do it. Hands it off to his brother. Great pass. Uh-oh, Caleb Copeland. Uh, uh -oh. Cross-court pass. They're playing, like a, they're playing just a passing game right now, trying to kill some time. It's working well for him, though. There's only three minutes left to go in the game. The Eagles need to start scoring really, really fast if they want to do something and hold Rolla from scoring. Uh-oh. They just keep playing the passing game. They're lucky they don't have a shot clock. Hear that student section? They're yelling boring. You know what? That kind of, this kind of is boring. No offense to Rolla, but, you know, they're playing it smart. Hey, you know, they got to do what they got to do to win. If they were shooting right now, you never know. They're trying to find that right shot. I mean... If they're and not that's going to be a foul on Charlie. That's a blocking foul. That's his fourth foul of the game, if I do believe so. He's got one more foul. You know, I'll be honest with you. He's an impressive player, but he hasn't scored anything more than 15 points tonight. Honestly, I think he has under 10. He's at, he's at right about nine points right now, I believe. Oh, my. Seriously, a one and one, and they get the ball back on a rebound. Joplin needs to really step up their game right now. If they don't, they're going to end up in that L column tonight. They're going to fall 1-1 one one in the conference if they lose tonight, and Rolla will go up to 1-1. One one. No, they'll be 2-1. Two, Ball's given off, and they're still playing a passing game. And there's a foul. Another foul. If I was the Eagles, I'd foul right now to try to just save listen, time. Listen here, okay? They've had the ball on this trip for a whole minute and a half. It has just been a passing game. Just pass, 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 pass. You know? I, but, you know, they're playing it smart, and that's what they need to do to win. <clears throat> they yeah. came out and executed the second half, and that execution is going to probably get them the W tonight. And I'll be honest with you, I don't think there's enough time on the clock for Joplin to pull off a victory here. Unless it's an unbelievable run. 
And they're going to make their first shot here on that one and one. Great shot. Great shot. Carter Wands is at the line. Sorry, I forgot to mention that earlier. He got fouled by Charlie. And High arcing shot, but it always finds its mark. You know, that's probably one of the highest arc on the free throw I've seen in a long time. But, you know, he finds that basket. Keandre Adam. Oh! And a jump ball. They're going to signal a jump ball, and that's going to go in possession of Rolla. That, to me, looked like it was Keandre Adams' ball. And Coach, Coach Williams is livid right now. He is livid right now. I would be, too, after a call like that. I mean, I'll be honest with you, though. It was probably the right call. Both hands are on the ball. No contact. It's a jump ball. I saw a little bit of contact there, and I don't think both hands were on that ball. Well, we're a little high up. That student section, which is killer, they were kind of blocking the view for us up here. Yeah, but the unfortunate part is it kind of looks like it's getting smaller right now. Looks like Kobe's going to go to the line here. He wow. makes his first shot. That student section's been pretty quiet. This, but they're kind of making some final statements at Rolla. And that's going to be a second free throw. Unbelievable. Number 10, Tyler is going to come in. This game, 17-point lead for the Rolla Bulldogs. They scored 18 points in the first half. I mean, this second half by Rolla has been an absolute domination. I'm sorry, they scored 14 points in the first half. Yeah, they scored 14, 14 points in the first half. Okay. And their numbers here right now are absolutely phenomenal. They got 34 points right now. Unbelievable. Dylan McVay's at the free throw line right now for the Joplin Eagles. He nails that free throw. Dylan McVay drains his first free throw of the game. Joplin has only put up 14 points in this half, while Rolla has put up 34. And that one won't fall for Dylan. Caleb Copeland picks up the ball, and they were wanting to drive in there. Oh, and he gets fouled there. One minute and 59 seconds left, and it is a 16-point game. The Rolla Bulldogs are leading right now. Um, I just don't know what to say. I mean, the Eagles had the lead going into halftime, but Rolla, Rolla played very, very well this half. I'm going to give them that. Extremely well basketball. And, you know, we said that a lot here, but, I mean, it's just true. Oh, my. Look at those bounces. That That's how the night's been. The ball's falling into Rolla's favor tonight. That's for sure. I think it's that basket because Joplin had that basket earlier, and they had a lead. And now Rolla's got Another free throw. And they're going to make a substitution here. Caleb Copeland comes out of the game. Maybe they're putting in their final, their reserves here. You know, trying to save up some fresh legs. Oh, Charlie takes some shifty moves and, and takes a basket. In. And that's going to be a timeout. timeout. Or Coach Williams is going to take a timeout here. I think Coach Williams right now is just telling his team to look good. And I think he's saying, I think he's preaching to him in that huddle. Look good, look good, look good. Make this loss not look so bad. You know, you're probably right, and it's a shame to say that. But it's it really kind of true. You know, I like to see I like to see have, have Joblin put in a couple reserves here, you know, just to get in some guys. Not injure any players. Exactly. The score is, the score is 50 to 34 right now. One minute and 50 seconds left. I mean, Joplin can score a few points and make this game look like it wasn't a blowout. I mean, Rolla just played unbelievable. Knockout, in the second half. Knockout, drag out basketball in the yeah. second half. Rolla could have played one half and still beat Joplin. That's right. Well, let's go back to the game, Kalen. So we had a 30-second timeout right there. And Rawl is going to have the ball here under the under the Eagles basket. 
He just threw it out of bounds. What was that? Uh, wait, I'm confused as heck. I'm really confused right now. Wait, well, wait. Did they just threw the ball out of bounds and then threw it back in bounds, and nobody saw that. I mean, maybe I maybe you can do that. I, I never know you could do that. I we're gonna need to look at the rule book on that one, Caitlin. Uh. Yeah, I think we will because that was just uh, maybe maybe life. maybe everybody blinked. But us. I mean, come on, what are the odds? Or maybe we just didn't see it right. I don't know. Uh, I don't. I'm with you. I don't know either. And that one's out. Keandre Adams is going to grab the rebound. Oh, Jace Breaker tries to do a little fake shot right there. Doesn't quite get anything. And that's oh. going to be a blocking foul on Aaron Frolic. You know, the Eagles can take away some good key points from this game. Um, they shot from the free throw line pretty well. Uh, they played decent defense. I mean, they could have played better in the second half, but I mean, they got to look at the positives. Uh, their shooting has been off, except for right there. Oh! They finally find the three-point basket, and that was a good, that was a good three-point shot. You know, it's a little late in the game to start shooting out them threes and making them. You know, we got Here's a minute a and thirty out. seconds. So, I mean, Joplin, they, they, they really need to work on their shooting. They do. They really do. But I think Coach Williams is going to preach to him in practice this week. Shooting, shooting, shooting. We need to work on that because that game just was not – this game, past game's not working out. Yeah, it, it wasn't. You know, the three-point shot wasn't falling for hardly anybody. Jace, ba Jace Breaker makes one here at the end, but – um, definitely will not be enough to bring up the uh, Eagles uh, deficit here. There will not be. It might, it might make it look a little bit prettier, like you said earlier. The Eagles, if they get a three-pointer, that won't make their score look as bad as it would now. I mean, you see a 50 and a 30, that doesn't look good. <laughs> you see a 50 and a 40, that looks all right. Yeah, you're right. All right, we're going to get back to the action right here. You know, I really hope the Eagles – you know, take this loss and, and build on it. You know, I think they will actually. They're going into conference play. Um, I think that they'll rebound next week. I really do. Um, they have a big game against Hillcrest coming up, who is state ranked. Um, that'll be a really good game. I think the Eagles can maybe show some muscle in that game. Yeah, you know, I really hope to. I really hope to see something like that. Um, they got some good players there in Hillcrest. Oh, oh my goodness. Here come here it goes, maybe. Can we see the jam? Oh. And nope. Jace Breaker tried everything. Aaron Frolic doesn't quite have the hops to get up there and jam that ball home. Really like to see a jam tonight, but we really didn't see anything. Saw an oop pass. That is correct, but it wasn't a Oh, Jace Breaker gets his own rebound Which... twice. And oh Whoa! Can you say SWAT City? That ball, that ball was sitting almost into a different county. The four people in the Rolla Bulldog student section is going crazy over that. Yeah, I'll be honest with you. The Rolla Bulldog student section tonight is at least they've got something to cheer about. I mean, their student section's filled with players for their JV team. True. They are all JV players. And But, you know, they must have motivated them somehow. I mean, the way they came out in that second half, impressive. Yep. Here's Carlos Santillan to the line here, shooting one and one. Splash. Knocked down that free throw like it was nothing. I think he could have been blindfolded and hit it's that like one. throwing a rock in a pond. Just splash. Ball's up. And the ball that rims one wasn't out. Wasn't quite a splash, but that dismal, oh, dismal free Andre throw Adams shooting. And he missed the layup. He gets his rebound. It's oh no, oh. they're gonna call a carry. Oh my gosh. I don't think the refs are on the side of the Joplin Eagles tonight. You're gonna get nights like that. You're Some gonna get nights like that. But then again, you're gonna, you know, hey, I'm a referee. You know, in my in my, in my day job. And it's hard to ref games like this. It, it really, really is. It is. Tough conference games. I mean, especially when calls can go either way. And they're going to call a foul from the other end of the court. On Jaden Hedeback, it looks like. Wow. They're going to call a foul on Jaden Hedeback. 
And the Rolla Bulldogs are going to go to the line again. They're trying to extend on this big lead they already have. You know, I really expected Joplin to pick up the win tonight, but, you know, it doesn't always turn out the way you want it. No, it really doesn't, but another splash. I mean, wow, unbelievable. It's Splash City this second half on the Rolla Bulldogs free throw line. You know, looking back at the numbers, Joplin shot 60, is shooting 66% from the free throw line tonight. It's going to go down from there. Rolla's free throw shooting is almost perfect. Um, Joplin's three point percentage um, was sitting right at 32%. That's not very good. And that's going to go down from here, too. Field goal percentage is going to go down. The but trying to say what time they have. Charlie oh, Brown going to pop one up. And, and no good. Still can't find the bucket, but Spencer Lang gets it. There well, is a lid driving. on that basket oh, tonight. Oh, my goodness. I. I, the Eagles have great shooters. They just cannot, cannot find the basket tonight. They could find it earlier in the first quarter. They look like me out there. Right now, they have nothing. Charlie Brown with the inbounds. Oh, nice little crossover. The and shot. one. And one. Charlie is going to the line. I tell you, if it was 50 to 40, that doesn't look that bad. Charlie... Shooting 85% this year from the line. Let's see if he can add to it here with an and one shot. The Eagles will take this as a learning step. And it's good. That ball falls in there. People are looking at the crowd and student section. They're looking at the positives, and that's what they need to do. I mean, the Eagles played a great first half, and I think that they'll have many more better halves of basketball to come. Yeah, I think so. Uh... I think Rawl is going to build off this performance tonight. Uh, they've got momentum going into their next conference game. Joplin, um, I think, you know, Joplin's actually going to probably pull off some momentum out of this game. Even though there's a loss, you know, Joplin has had a good season. And they've got a next, they got their tough, component, tough, tough opponent, sorry, coming up next in Hillcrest. And I really look for them to build off a dismal performance here and move on to their next game. February 4th at MSSU, be there because they're playing Hillcrest and Joplin's going to want to win bad. And you know what? We'll be here for that game too. Hillcrest is state ranked. I can't wait to be here on that mic. Uh-oh. Maybe. Oh! oh! It's getting hot. Unbelievable. Well, you know, Grayson, you might think he's hot, but that, that's his only thats only his first three-pointer of the game, buddy. I know, but I mean. That's hot for him right now. <laughs> shooting just inside. I mean, unbelievable. Charlie Brown, he scored six points with, in, what, 10 seconds? I mean, unbelievable. Yeah, you're right. I just fell off the step. <laughs> That's you know, okay, Kalen. Hey, you missed a half-court shot. I know. I'm falling off it's steps. Hey, it's all right. It's a horrible night. It's not Joplin's night, and that's all right. Um, hey, we're having a good night here, though. We're having fun. We're having a lot of fun up here. It's always a plus with Mr. Ward. We've got um, 32 seconds left in this game. That's right. This uh, last m- that minute and a half has seemed to be very, very long. This has been the most longest minute and a half. I went to the Missouri Tigers-Arkansas Razorbacks game this past Tuesday. The minute and a half, the last minute and a half, took probably three minutes. This one's taking about 20. Yeah, it's exactly. really long. But, you know, the Eagles are trying to come back and make this loss look better, and I don't blame them for that. Yeah, but I don't. I'll be honest with you. I don't. I don't know if it's gonna happen for him tonight. I, it's just not falling for him. All right, we're gonna get back to the action here. Jaden Hedeback checks back in for the Eagles. So, Rolla inbounds the ball on the baseline. They're gonna press really hard. He goes out of bounds, and, and it's Joplin Eagles ball. Unbelievable. Eagles ball here, They're but trying to make a comeback. Twelve points down. I, I think they can do it. I thought there might have been a little bit of a push there by Spencer, but uh, you know I'm not the ref down there, so it's close. I mean, Eagles are one three-point shot away. Oh no! Oh no! Foul on Charlie Brown. Oh, and this the ball is gonna go Rolla's way. They will be. Wow. Charlie wow. Brown's night will be done tonight. Charlie will be done be tonight. Charlie's taking untucked his shirt. 
And he's going to be riding the rest of this game from the pine, buddy. It's, it's a shame to see. You know, Charlie has to look at the positives of what he's done, though. I mean, he's played a great game. Um, shots haven't fallen like he wants, but he's played defense really well. And at the end of the game, he shot pretty well. He scored six points. You just have to look at the positives. I, that's all you can do as a Joplin Eagles basketball player and Joplin Eagles fan. Yeah, you're right. Ball's going to be inbounded here. Oh, and Jace Pricker gets the, the ball. Steal, puts it up, and shot didn't fall. Spencer Lane in and gets it. And 20 seconds left. Spencer Lane knocks it down. 10-point game. You know, the oh. score is the score probably won't reflect how this game ended up, but you know, Joplin made a valiant effort to come back. If I would have saw the score of this game, I would have thought Rolla pretty much led the whole way. But we've seen a great game in the second half, and Rollins came back. This is one of the best high school second half performances I've ever seen. I've seen a lot of them, and I'm going to have to agree with you on that. You know, last week we saw a buzzer beater to win the game. Uh, this week we're seeing just a monstrous second half from Rolla. Monstrous, monstrous second half. Hey, they can't miss shots. That's, that's the bottom line here. If you don't miss the shot, oh, here comes the ball. It's rolling. It's rolling. Who's going to pick? Oh, and Jace picks up the ball. And he shoots and looked like he got fouled, but that was just a terrible shot. Foul, 7.3 seconds left. And Rawl is going to go to the line again. Tonight has been a very tough night for the Eagles. Uh, it came on quick. And the Rolla Bulldogs just never looked back. People are starting to pack up their stuff and head out. Including the Rolla Bulldogs. JV. Four-person student section. <laughs> that ball's drained. Man. Wow. You know, I think I, I think I know what the problem is. Somebody put Drano in the Rolla Bulldogs basket. Uh, it, they're draining like nothing. That's the game. Valiant effort for the Rolla Bulldogs coming back in the second half. Unbelievable performance. And that's probably going to do it for us here at Robert Ellis Young Gymnasium. I'm Kalen Smith. And I'm Grayson Cox with Jet 14 Sports. And we're going to see you next week when Joplin Eagles take on the Hillcrest Hornets. Please stay classy. So light them up.